There are over 200 survivors of sexual and gender-based violence in Sequoia State have benefited from an empowerment grant by the Maria Tamberwell Development Initiative as part of the 16 Days of Activism Against SGBV in the state. MTDI is an initiative of the wife of the Sequoia State Governor, Maria Tamberwell, which engages in women development, rehabilitating and reintegrating survivors of SGBV in the state and beyond. We'd like to warn that this video may contain flashing elements and can be harmful to photosensitive users. Viewers' discretion is advised. Violence against women and girls is one of the most prevalent human rights violations across the world. The crime undermines the health, dignity, security, and autonomy of victims and exposes them to sexual reproductive health consequences. These include false and unwanted pregnancy, unsafe abortions, traumatic fistula, sexually transmitted diseases, including HIV and even death. It is estimated that globally, one in three women will experience physical or sexual abuse in their lifetime. <laughs> sexual and gender-based violence is on the rise in Nigeria, especially with the heightened security challenges across the country. It is estimated that three in every ten Nigerian women will experience physical violence by the age of 15. Sokoto State has also recorded cases of SGBV despite effort of government and other development partners. Nigeria has done something revolutionary, something that has moved the deepening of the realization of women's rights to a higher pedestal by using the criminal law to enforce human rights. The that wife of the Sokoto State Governor, Marie Tumble, has been at the forefront of the fight against SGBV in the state through awareness creation, empowerment, rehabilitation, and integration of victims across the state. As part of this year's 16 days activism against gender-based violence, over 200 adolescent survivors of SGBV victims in South Quattro State have been empowered with grant that will help them to be self-reliant and reduce their vulnerability to abuses. The Maria Campbell Development Initiative, MTDI, will today distribute grant to 200 young adolescents to gender violence survivors and people living with special needs. In fighting this rise in crime, the state government has made laws to prosecute offenders. This has been with the support of development partners and non-governmental organizations such as MTDI, whose activities have also helped the state to domesticate and pass the child protection law to fight right.